Hello and in this video I'll show you exactly how you can create a crouch jump keybind so you can do jumps like this much easier. And why is it? Well if you create a bind like this then it's pretty much instant. So when you try to manually do it you have a little delay and it's inconsistent but with a keybind it's much more consistent and much more easier. So in order to do this we must do the following. Now first of all start with enabling your developer console. So go to game and right here make sure that enable developer console is on yes. Then go to keyboard and UI keys and then remember this key that is right here. This key is usually located under the escape button and press on this key. Now your console will open and right here we're going to type unbind space. So now you can't jump anymore. So what we're going to do is in the video description, there will be some different type of commands and you need to type every command line by line. So just copy the first command, which is this one alias plus jump plus jump, press on enter. Now type in the following command alias the jump and then type in the last command control V bind space to d jump and when you've done that you're basically all set and done now you've created a crouch jump key bind and if you press on spacebar it will now work what i recommend doing is to enable jumping with your scroll wheel so if you're gonna go to the last comment you will see that you will have more a scroll wheel down to plus jump so if you press on enter you'll now be able to just normally jump with your scroll wheel because sometimes you don't need to crouch jump so it's very good to have this on your scroll wheel you can always change this from mouse wheel down to mouse wheel up and in that way you can jump with both sides of scrolling and that is very useful to use now let's say that you would like to create an auto exec file so that means that when you start up your game it will always make sure that you are able to crouch jump well if you would like to do that then i can show you how can you can do this so just close down your csgo quit to desktop and then go to the local files of your csgo once that is open you're gonna go to game Go to CSGO and then go to CFG. Now go to view in your file explorer. Make sure that file and name extensions is enabled. Create a new file and call it autoexec.cfg. Make sure it's CFG, otherwise it will not work. Click on yes. Now I've already created one. So I'm just going to use the one that I just created. Right there I have autoexec.cfg. So right click on your file, go to open with and open it with notepad or any other software. Now we're just going to type in every single command that you just did. And once you've done that, you're going to press on control C. You're going to press on control S. And you're going to close everything down. Right click on your counter strike. Go to properties, go to general. And right here type plus exec autoexec.cfg. And when you do this, CSGO will automatically exact the file and all the commands when you start it up. So with this, I hope that this video has helped you. And if it did, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you.